Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California for now. Um, my lucky day, yesterday I got to play on the table with you, which was delicious. So uh, Rob is home from Ohio. We're doing our last minute uh, packing up, but I got to play. So I made some um, slow stitch fish, very, very firm. Um, my goal is 13 and we now have nine. So, so grateful to be able to play on the table with you. Thank you so much for following along. And there are lots and lots and lots of mixed media videos by Lori Marie Jenkins, the artist in Vallejo, California, who's moving to Costa Rica. So uh, changes in the projects that I'm playing with. And um, if you're not following us on our traveling, channel Robin Lori Marie Jenkins no it's Robin Lori Marie moved to Costa Rica then you can follow what's going along there so just really really grateful for some playtime yesterday <laughs> Rob wasn't home so I got to play all right uh, all that being said there are lots of online classes that you can find on my website so hit those if you're uh, if you have a hankering to do a new project, uh, they're affordable. And I send everything, PDFs and videos and things like that, I send them to your email. So it's self-paced. You get to play along as you wish, uh, unsupervised, but I'm always available if you have questions. So I think that's it for me. Exciting times around here, of course. And see you on the table. So this is our project for today, slow stitching a fish. I'm making 13 of them. This made number nine. So much fun. Thanks for playing. Well, what a treat for today. A little bit of time on my hands. Rob comes home from Ohio today. So I am playing on the table with you and I am making slow stitched fish. I'll show you each one. Hopefully you can see the slow stitching. My intention is to create 13. I believe I have eight created and we will create one together today these are so much fun <laughs> to play with so very simple supplies I have some polyfill that I actually had to go and purchase because I gave mine away prematurely, of course, when I was purging. Uh, fabric scraps, I got these from Lisa. I thought maybe, I, I'm not quite sure what this fabric is. I thought it was canvas to begin with, but it's thinner than that. Um, I don't know that I would use it again because it does fray along the edge. Um, but these are my patterns that I have cut. I have three pins that I could salvage and find around here. A pair of scissors, not my fabric scissors because they are packed. Some thick thread and a needle. So those are the things that I'm going to be playing with today. So we'll start off with one fish, one piece of a fish. And let's see what we have here. I would really like to have some dots on him today. Mm, maybe like that. Maybe like that. I think like that. So 
So I will pin that in place. Mm, I want an eye, so we'll move that down a bit. Not my fabric scissors. Okay, that's good. Pin that in place. I'm going to cut some of this excess off. Oh, that's fun. Use that someplace else. All right. All right, I'm going to thread my needle. I'm going to start in one of the dots. Really hard to see black on blue, but we are going to do it anyway. In fact, yeah, teeny tiny stitches. And I'm going to be working in a circle, grumbly tummy. Go along the edge of that circle. Still with tiny little stitches. <laughs> and then I'm going to continue on creating that circle or spiral as I step outside that circle. Which should happen probably on the next stitch. Still keeping my stitches pretty tight, pretty close. as I work that spiral around. All right, let me play for a minute. 
back and show you. As soon as I can stop my hands and shut the camera off. All right, I have the slow stitching done around the dots. I took this back to the end of his tail. And uh, I have a few things that I need to do around the house before I play some more. So I'm gonna set this down and I'll be back. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just continue to do the circles and then now uh, have them meet up. And we're going to let it play out the way that it will. So still here, just following the curve until I run out of fish. So what I'm going to do here is bring that curve around here and then back up. I'm just about out of fish in some spots. So we will enjoy the fish that we have. <laughs> so this will come down to a point here and then back up, or at least that is the intention. Catch a little bit of fabric here and head back up. Try to center that stitch. So I'm going to go to the edge and back. There's no more fish on this side, so I'll just complete the half circles on this side. All right, I've got this part of the fish done. I'm gonna go down here and fill this in, doing the same thing, just kind of following the curve. All right, I'm content with that. I'm gonna bring my thread in, which I've been using as a single thread, and I'm going to use it as a double thread now for the eyes, for the, for the eye, I should say. And I am going to just 
sew that a few times with that double thread. And give him an eye. Tie that off on the back. And our fish is done. What will, ha what will happen next is bring the other half in. place so what's going to happen next is I'm going to bring I'm going to stitch it around the edge hand stitch of course leaving a gap about that big. Now my experience is don't get too close to the edge and don't space your stitches too far apart. If you get too close to the edge, of course, it can pull loose and if your stitches are too far apart then you'll get uh, Gapping areas, gaping areas, gaps, gaping areas <laughs> in the edge of the fish. All right, so kind of tight and not too close to the edge. And I'm just going to continue around this fish. All right, I have everything stitched. I have a gap right there in the belly or in the top of the fish, doesn't matter, about that big. This is not the fun part. Now we got to drag him inside or outside. Can't wait to see what he looks like actually. So just work it out. You can leave a bigger gap of course, but this size seems pretty good for the filling and for the restitching of the fish. My thimble is packed, so don't even bother to leave a comment telling me to use a thimble. <laughs> Comments are welcome, of course, but my thimble is packed. car is detailed. I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background. Those will be for sale this week.
in there. Just his little tail. Come on. I have a chopstick that I work with. Push that out. But of course that's packed too. So carefully using my scissors to poke him out. And there he is. He's gorgeous. We grab the stuffing. Take little bits of polyester fiber film. Poke those inside. I don't like them rock hard, which is my tendency, is to fill them until they're rock hard. So these little guys, I'm being careful and filling them so that they're still Kind of squishy. I'm going to bring my needle and thread, pop it in there, going back just a little bit into the opening. Grab a little bit of fabric on each side. Simple slip stitch, sew him closed. Sorry about the background noise, but I'm so delighted I could have some playtime today. I am not going to complain about a little background noise. I'm going to tie that off. Take my thread and needle, shove it back into his body in that same place. Out his back. Pull it tight. Snip that off. That disappears. So there's our amazing Fish. So that was very, very fun. So thank you so much for playing with me today on the table. So unexpected. So all my little fish in a row.
<laughs> They're so fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Only four more to make. Thanks again for playing.